Um, this video is sort of the introductory video to kick off my talking video series. Um, so first I'm going to re-explain the origins of Scarred by Illusion and what it means to me. Slash like where I guess I got the name from. I don't really remember when I decided to change my username on my art Instagram. But I think it's a really strong synchronicity that I came to the name. Um, the, the original origin of it comes from the feelings I had when I was undiagnosed with mental illnesses and type 1 diabetes and autism spectrum disorder. Um, I also, within the same time frame, and also a little bit prior to, before I had been diagnosed with clinical depression when I was 13, and I'm 20 now, so... Um, yeah, I've been diagnosed with clinical, de clinical depression and generalized anxiety when I was 13. I never was medicated for either one, though I don't think that either one went away. So, last year in October, I was diagnosed with panic disorder and generalized anxiety, as well as being diagnosed on the spectrum. Um, and like I said, I also was diagnosed as a type 1 diabetic in 2018, February of 2018, I believe. Um, but Scar by Illusion was basically the manifestation of my stressors and the emotions I felt that were like invalidated. Invalidated. I feel like I didn't say that right. Um, like I, because I, I felt like I, like I knew what I was feeling, but nobody else did. So in an essence, Scar by Illusion is sort of personifying invisible illnesses or like conditions that it's hard to. It's hard to, like, express to other people. Um, but I've been making art all my life, and it's always been a constant of mine. Um, I've been able to use it as, like, a tool to learn through. So, I feel like when I look back at art that I made during that time, and even, I, I also wrote, I guess, like, poems and, like, song-type things, but, ugh, I'm not comfortable talking about that at all. But I can talk about mental illness, that's interesting, funny. Um, but that is basically the opening or introduction to what Scar by Illusion is and what it means to me. Um, I sort of have this semi-scripted or like outline structure for upcoming videos that I want to do. Um, I think the series I'm going to call it like taboo talks or something I don't know that could be awful but um I kind of just want to solidify what scarred by illusion is and hopefully like because I am able to reflect I feel like I'm able to help myself and in a way I think I have stuff to offer like a, a interesting perspective to offer to art and artists. Uh, and, I, and this is re-explaining Scarred by Illusion because I had created a video. I might chop this video up and add in like other parts of the video because I'm not a super organized speaker and or thinker. Though I do have something written down that I am going off of. I'm not really sticking that strongly to it because other things are coming to mind but um I mean I am slightly worried of the reception of the series which is sort of why I did delete by the time I didn't have this idea to make it a series I just sort of made it um but I wanted to remake it with my intention being very clear so Oh, I, also, I forgot one. I forgot another thing that I was diagnosed with. I was also diagnosed with um, CPSD, um, which is childhood PTSD, which kind of aligns to my panic disorder and my generalized anxiety. But I also think it connects to my autism as well, that I don't handle 
I don't know, like emotions and certain stimuli all that well. It just sets me off. But um, more, I'm going to explore more of these topics in the future. I don't know if I should share them because I don't know when I'll be releasing them or how frequently I'll be doing them, though I do have concepts in mind. So, I think that's it. Hopefully, I wasn't all over the place. If this topic interests you, or you can relate to it, or in general are curious about how I plan to fuse conversations about mental illness and or, I guess, neuroatypical conversations in with my approach to art and sort of self-therapy as like a lifestyle, then consider subscribing or hitting the like button. Um, I don't know, I really just want to talk about things that I don't feel like I have anybody to talk to about. So it might be an awful idea, but at the same time, I was like, I don't think I'm the only one who can, who like has the feelings that I do have about myself, my life, I guess sort of like my artwork or like my future. So that's why I think it could be like really prosperous. And that's kind of like why I think it's like taboo. Like you probably shouldn't talk about your mental illness, but it's easy to talk about it when like I'm by myself. I probably would never talk about it in person because like that's hella weird to me to maybe like, hey, I have I am hyper vigilant when I go out and I can't function too well for extended periods of time around other people. Um But yeah, no, if you're interested in that, you can relate to this, you're welcome to subscribe and hit the like button. I feel get really weird saying that, but if you feel called to do it, you should do it. I forgot to mention a little, like, just, I think it was, like, exactly two days before my autism evaluation. Wait, no, it was two days before my birthday, before I turned 20. And then, like, my autism evaluation was at the end of October. So, like, a week or two before my evaluation, I found out, like, a lot of interesting, I guess, like, I don't know if it's, like, a family secret or whatever, something I didn't know about, but needless to say, my dad has, like, pretty severe mental illness that I didn't know about my whole life, and I kind of just thought he was abusive, like, verbally abusive, but I guess there's a little bit more to it than I thought. Um, my dad has, um, paranoid schizophrenia. He also is, um, Bipolar. I don't know if it's type 1 or type 2. Of course. Of course. So, he also has, like, generalized anxiety. He has an array of issues, but I, it was interesting, and it's really funny. I mean, ironically, I guess sort of funny. It's my type of humor, but I kind of thought my dad was a paranoid schizophrenic, but still for him to be like, yeah, no, I'm hearing him, like, text it to me because I don't talk to my dad. I'm not close to my dad at all, really, so. I mean, the fact that I didn't know he was that, it kind of tells you that we weren't super close. But yeah, no, basically mental illness runs in my family, and then going off of, like, Discard by Illusion, I was really into, like, I, and, like, ugh. The Scarred by Illusion aspect and, like, the Still Chaos, which is a hashtag that I use a lot. I kind of think it's mine, but I've seen other people use it when I click the tab button, so I just pretend I don't see it. But, um, I really like optical illusions. I think my art, like, I like to make art that I personally think is interesting. And a lot of times, certain people, I don't know, I, I don't know, maybe, it, I don't want to say certain people, I haven't talked to that many people about my art, but a lot of people don't look at my art and immediately see the the beings in it. I don't know if they're humans, I have an aversion to drawing people, like just human people, and I think I've always been like that. When I first started painting, I was very much a surrealist, in a sense, because I didn't draw people normally of like regular flesh tones, like I would rather draw a blue person or a red person than draw like a white, black brown person. I don't know. I've always been like that. Um, maybe that's something else I'll talk about. But 
Uh, I think that is it. I hope I did not forget anything, because when I was listening to part of this, I edit this so much.